So this is a simple word problem, but it's a kind of problem that you can expect from aptitude tests. So if you're taking yung civil service, um, college entrance exams, or you just want to learn more, uh, this is something that you would encounter at some point. Now, the question reads, a school field trip filled four buses and four vans. Each bus contains 42 passengers each, and each van contains eight passengers. If 20 faculty members chaperoned, how ma many students joined the trip? Now, most people would uh, just look at the number, solve it, and then yun na yun. Pero one thing that you have to understand is, kailangan ninyong maintindihan ng buo yung tanong in order for you to solve this correctly. Now, one trick that I teach my students is to translate the question into Filipino or Tagalog or kung ano man yung local language ninyo, kung saan ka mas komportable. Because if you can translate that question, then you would find it easier to understand. So, if it translate natin ito, basically, yung ibig sabihin, may apat na bus, apat na vans, in-enumerate po ano yung laman ng, isa, ng bawat uh, sasakyan. Pero ang catch dito is the 20 faculty members who chaperone. Now, kung faculty members sila, Ibig sabihin, hindi sila student. So, anong ang gagawin natin ngayon? Ang gagawin natin ngayon is to figure out kung ilan yung passengers na total and then, ibabawas natin yung 20 na faculty members kasi hindi sila student. So, the equation would be something like this. 4 times 42 plus, and then you have 4 times 8 which is, ito yung bosses, apat na bus, multiply natin siya sa apat, kasi apat yung muna punong bus. Tapos, you have these, i-add mo yan. Tapos, ibabawas natin yung 20 na faculty na nag-chaperone, at lalabas yung ating number of students. So, all you have to do is to multiply these, 4 times 42, that is 168, plus, and then 4 times 8, which is 32, minus, yan yung ito muna, minus 20 is equal to x. This right here is going to give you 200 minus 20 is equal to x. So, ibig sabihin na 180 ang students na nasa loob nung field trip na yon. Okay? Now, bakit, uh, bakit natin binawas at hindi dinagdag? Kasi again, kapag pinag-uusapan yung faculty members, hindi sila students. So, uh, kung... 200 ang iyong total ng passengers, kailangan mong kunin yung 20 na faculty para maiwan yung 180 na students. Okay? Now, some people would say na uh, madali lang ito masyado, but again, the key here is to translate it in your mind. And remember that for every word problem that you encounter in the test. Alright? So, I hope that was helpful. Share it with your friends kung mag-exam din sila or kailangan nila ito. And uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to make more videos like this. So, if you don't want to miss those, make sure that you follow me on my social media uh, accounts. And um, as always, aja aja kainyan. Never stop learning. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.